Paul, do you think this is the right time for the Prime Minister to call an election? Why do you think he is doing it now? We expect it in the next few minutes. And of course, uh, you'll uh, you'll um, forgive me, Paul, if I have to cut you off if the Prime Minister starts speaking. Nah, that's fine. Peter, look, uh, uh, no is the honest answer. Um, I was expecting to talk to you about Paul Bennell's um, uh, uh, evidence to the post office inquiry because there's so much stuff going on at the moment in the real world. Uh, you know, what we can't do is just sort of like sit there and say, I'll tell you what, let's have an election now because the vision in six months' time is not going to be particularly positive. Um, so, so you think you know, this is the wrong decision? Yeah, frankly, uh, because we need to be setting out a vision. We need to be rolling. You always need to roll the pitch as politics. If you're going to do stuff, if you're going to be setting out uh, a, you know, a vision for the country, you can't do it overnight. Um, and but, but what was going to got... turn around, uh, Paul? I mean, you've had the Conservatives uh, under huge pressure electorally mm. for, for such a long time. Three years now, they haven't been ahead in a single poll. It would, would going any longer have, have... What was the sort of magical thing that was going to change things no, for the Conservatives? I, Peter, I don't, Peter, I'm not sure there is a magical thing. I'm just saying that actually you need to sort of like sit there. You 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 know, if you, if you sort of cut and run, then it's never... It doesn't look particularly good. So what we've got to do... If, if this is the case and what we're doing, I'm not standing, so I won't be that I'll be supporting uh, my, my successor and other candidates in line. But what we've got to do is actually we can't just sit there and talk about there may be a flight to Rwanda. Oh, inflation is just slightly outside our target, but it's getting there because prices are still going up. We've got to do more than that. It's, it's about what are we going to give aspiration for um, younger people about renting and buying houses? What are we going to do about the next five years? This is not about the next six months or nine months that there might have been the window for election we're trying to set out a stall for five years and my fear is that people have stopped listening so let's not keep reacting to everything let's respond to what people are telling us and if this is a general election announcement then that is something that we've really got to be on top of and set out a strategy not just tactical crisis management. Mm. Uh, we want to hear not just from the politicians, not just from the pundits and the journalists, but also from you at home, 0344 499 1000. What is your reaction to Rishi Sunak calling an election? We expect him to do that in the next few minutes. We're waiting for uh, the lectern man to bring out the lectern. His name's Toby. I know him a little bit, weirdly. Um, so uh, he will bring out the lectern at some stage and Rishi Sunak will uh, be, uh, there's a different lectern for each Prime Minister as well. But we're with Paul Scully for the meantime. And Paul actually, we did ask you to come on to talk about Paula Venels and her uh, her reaction and indeed her evidence to Parliament today. There's be, that is, would have been what we would have talking about for, for most of the programme. And I wonder what your reaction to what she said. She said mistakes were made and, and she didn't know about certain things. Do you think she's a credible witness? Well, she's a credible witness. She was the chief exec. So, yes, she is in terms of the fact that she was the person in power. She was the person making the decisions. Whether her evidence is credible, I think we need to wait the entire three days to see what she says in its entirety and piece it together. I don't want to keep having a running commentary about it. But what worries me is when she was saying earlier on in the day that people said she was a bit too curious um, well, you can't have it both ways. You're either, you're either curious and you're looking into these evidence and you're testing people's views, or you're actually just worrying about the um, post office's reputation, the brand reputation. People are actually either committed suicide, either died, or lost everything as a result of the action of Paula Venel's company when she was running that company. Uh, and so she's got a hell of a... Um, uh, thing to stand up to over the next three days and those questions need to be answered.